I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. With this example, we are going to understand many concepts relating to polynomials division. We will also take up synthetic division and a special method in which we are going to divide the given polynomial by a trinomial which is quadratic in nature. Some books mention that you can only divide synthetically using a linear expression. But in this video, you will also see how do we divide using quadratic expressions. Well, the questions here are, consider division of polynomial by a trinomial, 2x to the power of 4 plus x cubed minus 4x squared minus 2, divided by x squared plus 2x minus 3. We need to find what is the degree of the quotient, what is the degree of remainder, find remainder using remainder theorem, find quotient using synthetic division, verify your answer using long division. In a way, the question encapsulates the complete concept of polynomial divisions. I would like you to pause the video and look for your own solution. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Many of my students have performed very well. Some have been the toppers in their class, like Akshit. You can always join my classes and learn directly from me by sending an email on the address given. We do organize individual and group classes. You can excel as many students have done before. The winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there, join our summer classes and get ready for bright future. Now, let's get back to the solution of this question. We'll figure out what is the degree of the quotient and what is the degree of the remainder. By now, you must have got your answer, right? Now, let's see if it matches. So, part A and B for this is that the function given to us is 2x to the power of 4, x cubed minus 4x squared minus 2. We are dividing by x squared plus 2x minus 3. Let me rewrite this. Kind of like this. So, that is the long division which you are normally going to do. So we have 2x to the power of 4 plus x cubed minus 4x squared minus 2 and you are going to divide this by x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now when I say what is the quotient then it really means that what comes here on the top, right? So this is the quotient. And the remainder is, when you follow this process, what remains? Now, in this question, we are mainly interested in degree of quotient, not really the complete quotient, right? And also, the degree of remainder. So, we are only focusing on the degree of quotient and remainder. So, can you now tell me what could be the degree? Well, clearly, if I take care of x square and 2x to the power of 4, I have to multiply by 2 times x square. So, the degree of quotient will be 2, right? So, it will be 2. Degree will be 2, right? Basically, you get this answer by subtracting 2 from 4, right? So, degree 4 minus 2 will give you 2, and that is how we get the degree of the quotient. How about the remainder? Well, you continue the process of dividing 
until what you divide becomes of a smaller degree than the divisor. That means even if it is x squared term, you can go one time, right? So it has to be linear, right? Linear of the form ax plus b. And here, the quadratic of the form ax square plus bx plus c. Do you see? So that is the quotient, but the degree is 2. And as far as the remainder is concerned, we have degree of 1, which is linear. So I hope with this, this concept of finding the degree of quotient and the remainder is absolutely clear. And to that, we added some more information. That is, the quotient will be like ax squared plus bx plus c, and the remainder will be of the form ax plus b. In some cases, a could be 0. In that case, the degree will be 0, not 1. Well, sometimes if it is a factor, then you may get a remainder as 0 also. But anyway, the maximum degree will be 1 in this particular case. And so, we are going to take that as our answer. So, I hope that is absolutely clear. Now, let's move on to the next part, which is how do we find the remainder when we divide the polynomial of degree 4 with another polynomial of degree 2? We could, of course, do long division, but how are we going to use remainder theorem to figure this out? Well, we can write a division statement and then find it out. Well, let me give you the division statement to begin with. Well, x squared plus 2x minus 3 can be written as what? x squared plus 2x minus 3 can be written as, in the factored form, x plus 3 times x minus 1. So that is equivalent to x squared plus 2x minus 3, right? So therefore, when we are dividing the function f of x, let us say, is equal to 2x to the power of 4 plus x cubed minus 4. 4x squared minus 2, we are dividing by x plus 3 and x minus 1. We can find the remainder when we divide by x plus 3, and we can also find the remainder when we divide it by x minus 1. Well, let's figure this out. So, what is the value of this function when we substitute minus 3 for x? So, that will be 2 to the times minus 3 to the power of 4 plus minus 3 cube minus 4 times minus 3 square minus 2. Well, let us use the calculator to find this answer. Perfect. Okay. So, when I substitute these values in the calculator, I do get f of minus 3 as 97. Now, let's find what is the value of this function for 1. So that means 2 times 1 to the power of 4 plus 1 cube minus 4 times 1 minus 2. Now when I substitute this, I get 2 plus 1, 3. And here we have minus 6, so we get minus 3 as our answer. Now that is not the remainder when I divide 2x to the power of 4 plus x cubed minus 4x squared minus 2. This whole thing, when I divide by the factor x plus 3 times x minus 1, what will be the remainder? Well, these are individual remainders. How do we get the collective remainder? That is a very big question, which we need to answer. You get the idea, right? How do we figure this out? Now, this is where the division statement comes in handy, right? So, so f of x is given to us as 
the degree 4 polynomial and the divisor is a degree 2 polynomial. Let us use this information. We know one thing that the remainder is of the form ax plus b, right? We need to find the value of a and the value of b. Perfect. Now we will do this even without division and that is where the remainder theorem comes handy. Let us see how. Okay. So we could say that the function f of x, so we could write this as the function f of x is being divided by the x square plus 2x minus 3 which is as good as x plus 3 times x minus 1. So, so let us say the quotient is q. In that case, the quotient q times x plus 3 times x minus 1 plus the remainder should give you the function, right? That's the division statement, perfect. Now see what happens when I write the value of x as minus 3. So when I substitute minus 3, I get q of x minus 3 plus 3, which is 0. So that makes the first part of this expression as 0, right? a times minus 3 plus b. So that leaves you with minus 3a plus b, correct? So let me rewrite this. In f of minus 3 we just calculated, which was 97, right? So we just calculated this value, f of minus 3 as 97. So let me substitute this here. So we have 97 equals to minus 3a plus b. Now see what happens when I substitute 1. So f of 1 will be equal to q of 1, right? And then 1 plus 3 times 1 minus 1 plus a times 1 plus b. And f of 1 we calculate it as minus 3, right? So we could write this as minus 3 equal to, this is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. And therefore, we get a plus b. So basically, we are working with two equations. Equation number 1 is 97 equals to minus 3a plus b. And equation 2 is minus 3 equals to a plus b. So let us use these two equations and then find the value of a and b. So it is now quite simple to find the answer, correct? So let's move on to the next page. I'll continue this with the remainder. So we have two equations. One is 97 equals to minus 3a plus b. And we have minus 3 equals to a plus b. Correct? So these are the two equations which I'm taking. Minus 3 is a plus b. 97 is minus 3a plus b. So 97 is minus 3a plus b. And minus 3 is a plus b. So from here, this is our equation number 1, that is equation number 2, we can find the value of a and b, correct? So if I subtract one from the other, what do I get? I get the value of b, 97 minus minus 3 is 100, right? Equals to minus 3a minus a is minus 4a and that gives me 100 over minus 4 as the value of a which is minus 25. Correct? So we get the value of a in this particular case. Now to find the value of b I will actually multiply the second statement by let us say 3 and so that will result into what? So let me rewrite the second statement, which is multiplying by 3 gives me minus 9 equals to, okay, let's 3a plus 3b. 
And the first statement, we'll keep it as such, 97 equals to minus 3a plus b. Now, if I add these statements, what do I get? So, adding will cancel out minus 3 and minus 3a, and we will be left with 4b. Correct? And here, 97, take away minus 9, will give me 88. And therefore, we can find 88 divided by 4 as equal to the value of b, which is equal to 22. Do you see that? And therefore, we get our solution, which is the remainder. So, remainder, which is of the form ax plus b, can now be written as minus 25x plus 22. Does it make sense to you? Perfect. And that is how we are going to find the remainder using remainder theorem, right? So, so in this case, we used the remainder theorem. to find the remainder. The divisor is quadratic in nature. Do you see that particular method? Amazing, right? Now, in the next part of the video, we will see how do we find the quotient and the remainder using synthetic division. So next, we'll take up that. That will be continued and that is we'll discuss synthetic division. I hope you enjoyed this part of learning. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Check our website for the latest updates. Thanks for your time and all the best. You can always join my classes and learn directly from me by sending an email on the address given. We do organize individual and group classes. You can excel as many students have University. done before. The winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. <laughs>